Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through cholesteatomas. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash cholesteatoma or in the ear, nose and throat section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. A cholesteatoma is an abnormal collection of squamous epithelial cells in the middle ear. It's non-cancerous, but it can invade local tissues and nerves and it can erode the bones of the middle ear. It can also predispose to significant infections. Confusingly, cholesteatoma has nothing to do with cholesterol or a tumour. Let's talk about the pathophysiology. The pathophysiology of cholesteatomas is not fully understood. Squamous epithelial cells originate from the outer surface of the tympanic membrane. The main theory is that negative pressure in the middle ear caused by eustachian tube dysfunction causes a pocket of the tympanic membrane to retract into the middle ear. Essentially, a small area of the tympanic membrane gets sucked inwards. The squamous epithelial cells of this pocket continue to proliferate and grow into the surrounding space, the bones and the tissues. The cholesteatoma can damage the ossicles, which are the tiny bones of the middle ear that are involved in hearing, and this results in permanent hearing loss. The ossicles conduct the sound from the tympanic membrane to the inner ear, therefore the hearing loss is conductive as opposed to sensory neural. Let's talk about the presentation. There are two typical presenting symptoms to remember and these are a foul discharge from the ear and unilateral conductive hearing loss. As the cholesteatoma continues to expand into the surrounding spaces and tissues, further symptoms may develop, which include infection, pain, vertigo and facial nerve palsy. Otoscopy, where an otoscope is used to look down the ear canal, can show an abnormal buildup of a whitish debris or a crust in the upper tympanic membrane. However, it may not be possible to visualise the eardrum if discharge or wax are blocking the canal. Let's talk about management. A CT scan of the head can be used to confirm the diagnosis and plan for surgery. An MRI scan may be helpful to assess the invasion of the cholesteatoma and any damage to local soft tissues. Treatment involves surgical removal of the cholesteatoma. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.